Recently, I made a video about a huge area of unclaimed land in Antarctica, and a few of you, like Ictu and Rustu, correct me, saying, um, actually, the Principality of West Arctica already claims Mary Birdland. And okay, you're right, well, technically, multiple people have tried claiming this area, perhaps the longest running and most fully fleshed out attempt would be the one carried out by this guy, Travis McHenry, who claimed this region under what used to be the Principality, but is now the Protectorate of West Arctica. They have their own flag, their own coat of arms, hey, they even designed their own currency, the ice mark. So does this make West Arctica the rightful owner of these lands? Well, let's see. With a permanent population of zero, a total of zero settlements, and a grand sum of zero members of the United Nations recognizing its legitimacy, the answer appears to be a resounding no. But this does raise an interesting question. How many people would it take living here on their own accord before it was considered a nation? 